Oh my god, look at us. Look how cute we are. Oh, look at our little merchant badges. Hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to another episode of our Not So Very Challenge. Now, I just want to say straight away that I am really, really jet lagged. I've just got back from New York and my time zones are kind of all over the place. So I sound a bit drunk when I'm recording this. I promise you, like, I'm physically not drunk, but also mentally, I've very much feel like i am so this could be interesting i apologize for any strange decisions we're gonna make during today's episode also i feel like i'm slurring so i'm sorry about that but we are back with some not so berry and we got big plans today which again makes me nervous because my brain is running at probably like four miles per hour but we'll keep we'll keep going irregardless regardless irregardless i don't know i can't even form sentences anymore so in the last episode the family tree took a big hit because we we lost both Coral and we've also lost Mahina now as well. We've also got Kai who's aged up in the athletics career, which is big thumbs up, but also evil, which is big thumbs down. Although apparently in ancient Roman times, it was the other way around. So who knows at this point? We also have Lily, who is our kid sister. And what we decided is if anything happened to both Coral and Mahina, we would be adopting Lily in to the household. So there's probably going to be some changes today, both in our household and also our house, because I inherited 18,000 pounds, which means I can finally decorate and we can start to have a bit of a peach flavored household. And I'm going to send actually Robin in alone today because um, I've done everything I need to do for work. I've solved my two cases. So I may as well just let her go to work and make her work hard because also ooh, she wants to impress her boss for promotion how should she go about it well he hates you so it doesn't really matter what you do but i need you at home because we've got a lot to do so do a side project performance gain large turns out she's better at work if i am not there with her she is however very sad but the other thing i want to do in this episode is i want to move oh thanks kai please don't want to evilly um do anything to me and my my um boyfriend thanks i also want to move in boyfriend luke today so these guys have been dating a while um i mean in sims land land it's like a few years in reality it's like an episode but work with me on this i want to move luke in with me as well because i sort of feel like it's a lot to try and look after a child and a household and a doggo and work on your own so i feel like you know we've already talked about the situation to luke luke is cool with it luke is totally fine with it and we're gonna kind of um kind of sort of he's gonna help me raise my kid sister so i'm excited about that we're feeling focused at work we're getting things done we've earned a vacation day and we've had a great day of work so my performance is now good i don't think i'll be able to get a promotion the next time I head in, but I do have work for the next two, three days. So that's good. Okay. I am feeling a little bit flirty and I'm feeling focused, which is great. If we're focused, why don't we get things done? So the first thing I am going to do is I'm trying to think of the right way to do this. I think who do I move in first? Lily or Luke? I kind of want Lily to feel like she has like a day with just her sister before she has the, like this new person. But also I don't want Lily to come into the household and be like, oh, I don't want Luke here. Like, she doesn't get to make those decisions either. So I don't know really the right way to do this. Hmm. You know what? I can't leave Lily any longer with our brother who has the evil traits. So I am going to go ahead and invite Lily over to come and hang out. And you know what? I'm going to invite Luke over at the same time. Because if I'm decorating a house, I need Luke to do it. And maybe it's a better situation if we just, you know, go all in and have everyone at once. So let's get them both over. And the best way to get people on side with you is to cook nice food. My gourmet cooking is level 10 because I had to do this for this part of the Not So Berry Challenge. And I'm going to cook everyone. You know what? Let's go for a nice cheeky... Let's just make Make them cheesecake. I feel like if you're making people cheesecake, they have to agree with you, right? That's kind of the rules of cheesecake. So let's cook them some cheesecake, invite them over. We've got Amy here with a whole pumpkin, but I'm sorry, we're not cooking pumpkin pie. And tonight is a family evening, so you're not coming in, sorry. Oh, no way. And I just got a call from somebody whose last name was Aquino, which if you remember, Clem's childhood friend. With the hair and the cute face. I can't remember his adorable name, but same surname. I'm calling to inform you that your great, great, great second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and left you a fortune. Which kind of makes sense because he did marry into the house. Was it Zach? Zach. Zach did marry into the family, so this could be very legit. And okay, 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 okay. If I say under what conditions, I just get cash right here, right now. But I've never actually done this which is if i get married in seven days i get the payout so it's gonna leave me a bit stressed but it's there i've never actually done it 
And I do want to marry Luke. So I'm thinking for the first time ever, I may do this. I also don't immediately need money and it's my birthday. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me all this is happening in one day. No, I've got two days left until I age up. Okay, until I become an adult. Oh my gosh, time is moving fast. Hello, Lily. Do you want to come and help me out with this cheesecake, babes? We've got something to chat about. So tell me, <laughs> how's things going at school? Why have your custom eyes gone? Who knows the answers to these questions? But this is Luke. He's my partner. <laughs> What? What are you doing here? Little trays just over as well. Okay, it's kind of was meant to be a bit of a just us three thing because we'll all be living together. But I never turn Trey away because he is my cutest best friend ever. Are you still dating? I need to check in on that as well because we did get him to date our cute work friend, Amy. I need to check in on that situation. And now Kai wants to... Oh my gosh, this is... In a circle? Are you still living in the same house? Wait a minute. Where are you living right now? In a circle. I don't know where he is. I'm worried about him. <laughs> the cheesecake is cooked. It looks absolutely delicious. Okay, gang. So here is the new situation. Lily, you're going to be moving out because your brother's kind of rogue. Let's face it. Trey has also got us a gift, which is really freaking sweet. Wait, what did you get us? <gasps> Some seeds that were common plants. I hate gardening, but thanks. Also, Luke, who looks... Why are you feeling so sad at the moment? We'll figure out why he's sad when we move him in. Let's first of all move in little Lily. And I'm also going to adopt as a care dependent. Then we're going to ask Luke. This is the most turbulent time. This man has a freaking heart of gold. Because we're also going to ask him to move in whilst just moving in our child. Well, it's not our child. It's our little sister. But let's face it, it's kind of like practicing for a child. And am I stink as well? Yeah, I'm stink too. Oh, and Lily hates our cooking. Okay, and is also stressed out because our dog stinks. Did you just throw up on the floor? Okay, wow. I'm glad we moved in when you did because you would not eat well. It smells so bad, I don't want to be here. The smell is me. The smell is myself. Okay, Luke will also be moving in. We've got Ed Fires and Rowan Fires. So he was living with a married couple and they had 40,000 pounds. Okay, if I split that between three, if I give him like, I don't know, 12. No, let's just do, let's just do a healthy 10K. I'm gonna have so much money to spend on renovating this house. I now have 28,000 pounds and I didn't even add any to Lily because I'm like my brother, I kind of, you know, he's on his own. So I sort of want to look after him and make sure that he's not like, you know, I don't mind giving him a bit of extra cash because he's at the start of his career, whereas I'm a bit more established. So boom we've got a luke living with us as well luke who really wants to woo woo okay why were you feeling sad maybe he was sad because mahina died he was friends with mahina no freaking way okay so let's also get him to adopt her as a okay let's first introduce you guys and then we'll adopt as care dependent as well just so that they can both do like help out and they can like joke about bananas and stuff you know just cute things like that i need to get a shower but honestly, what I've got to do now is I've got to try and figure out a living arrangement for all of us in this teeny tiny cottage. So let's switch it to daytime real quick. In fact, let me just turn all lights on too. And the good news is I've got 30k to spend now. And I've also got this entire attic situation here, which I think I can definitely make use of and kind of form a room up here for Robin. So if I just like deleted all of this stuff, I would get all the money for it, which kind of feels cheaty. So instead, I'm just going to do a little rearrange of the attic and move as much stuff to one side as I can. There are like some old kids toys and stuff up here. So, you know, that's kind of nice because we'll be able to give them to Lily to have in her room. That is the urn of a vampire. Cool, cool, cool. We'll get rid of the spider webs for you. And then, you know, a lot of kids would quite like a room in the attic, I think. So the paint on the walls is meant to be wartime blue, but we'll paint the rooms for her. Paint the floorboards and add a rug. I think because of the way the eaves come in, we'll have to put her bed like over on this side. And I actually think in the end, she's ended up with a pretty good room with quite a lot of stuff in it. I think so. There is this obviously thatched roof coming in, but I don't really know what I can do about that. So we're just gonna kind of gonna have to deal with that. Okay, so there we go. Let me know what you think of the Lily's room. And then this is tough because I like, I, I meant to go peach, but I like the kitchen. I think the kitchen's kind of cute. I feel like this room, maybe we could kind of make a little bit more modern and a little bit more, you know, it works for them. So no one knits, although I can definitely see Luke knitting, but I'm going to get rid of a bunch of this stuff and just make it like a little bit bigger in here by getting rid of some of the things so that we could actually put like a little TV and sofa and trying to find like some peach colored things because like that's orange, that's pink, that's peach, right? It's hard. Peach, I have definitely by like a freaking country mile found the hardest because it's so close to orange and to pink. 
and we've just had those two generations so it's definitely been for me like the hardest color to get right i think the next gen is green and i'm really really looking forward to just like a color it's so different to the ones we've had recently. So bring on green. That's what I say. Okay, I'm going to make some other changes. Like the mail that's constantly piled up at the door. Probably would go because we've now got more people in the house. And I feel like Luke's a bit more organized than a lazy little... Why, I forgot my own name. Robin. Lazy little Robiners. So we'll get rid of that. I also just want to add more shoes to the door now, though, because there's more people living in the house checking their shoes here. And we'll put some big Manning boots here as well. And some little tiny kid shoes, too. So there we go. And the whole of this house is kind of... It's a cottage, so it's a little bit claustrophobic. So I think what I'm going to do here is actually put in an archway and, like, open up the house a little bit. I know you get the edge of that, but I, I can't really help that. I don't think it's the end of the world. And just end up in like a little bit of a brighter, lighter house environment. Something a little bit more modern and a little bit more of a reflection of them. Because like Robin never updated this kind of grandma style because, you know, she just genuinely could not be bothered. She is a lazy sim. And sometimes it's hard to like think of things that lazy sims would do and, and make it feel like authentic but i feel like that was definitely right but also i like the idea that when someone moves in the house has a little bit of an update they bring furniture and stuff and yeah it's just kind of cute or they go out and buy new furniture together which i think is a really nice idea as well hopefully none of this furniture is gonna set on fire with the uh fire being right there but we shall see and yeah that being at that weird angle is just i'm afraid it's just annoying me too much so we'll go for a little bit of a more diddy tv and i think that's cute it's very modern i have a little bit of money left over for this room i kind of i like this room i think it's cute i might just go for a color update maybe we just do a little bit of a paint job instead yeah i think that looks a little bit more modern now just from just from a bit of painting so there we go i like the idea that they play music so i'm gonna put a little boom box on here it's scarlet's house that always had music wasn't it so it's kind of cute if uh everyone's always dancing around i'm gonna try and make like a little happy house especially for um little lily because she's just gone through such a rough time she kind of needs this okay opening up the house even more hopefully these aren't gonna block the door i sort of feel like i want it to be a bit more open and i'll get rid of that because i think it's gonna block people going through okay and then we'll paint the floor in here i think it still works and it all just looks a little bit brighter and the paper that i got rid of in the other room this one kind of has like i don't know there's a few peach, kind of peach tones on there. So I will update that too. Maybe we'll keep the green, but on the bottom like this. And we'll get rid of these older rugs to make way for more modern, newer rugs. Oh, and they have a peachy chair color. Okay, this is nice. I just feel like the light is a little bit more modern. And I would have loved to have had like a little police room for them, especially since with this park, uh, sorry, with this career, you do end up getting like a bunch of like cool police stuff. But I don't know. I just don't really feel like it fits them to have an entire like investigation thing in their house. I don't know. It just doesn't feel very them. And also it would mean giving up like some of little Lily's space, which I just don't think they would do. I've gone for like this dark peach on the windows rather than green, like a... I don't know, like a ripe peach, I guess, just to mix it up a little bit. So I like this a lot now because I feel like the house much more like has their own stamp on it. All these windows come from the same collection as well, so I can like update everything really nicely. And yeah, it just feels like they've moved in and actually made some changes to the cottage. So that's nice. I like that. This is a, uh, well, I mean, he worked fast, did good old Luke. You could, you got to hand that to him. And we're ready to start playing with our new little family so it is night time right now it's 10 p.m at night and we've got to like be real sensible heads so okay lily likes comedy that is cute lily this is actually gonna be your bed here so i'm gonna sign that bed to you and ask that you go read into the covers i'm parent in level two this is good because like i'm building up my parenting skills already i am already awful stink though so let's go ahead and take a nice shower and then i feel like her side of the bed would be here because it's closest to the door so we'll have the right side of the bed assigned to robin and we will assign the left side of the bed to luke so you can go ahead to sleep here what level are you in your career oh what is your your aspiration is inner peace i have literally never ever ever done this one before so i guess i will get him some stuff for that he likes mindfulness and relaxation and maintaining harmony 
Okay. I guess that explains our very like calming bright colors of the house that he's updated us to. Maybe uh we make the outside like a bit of like a zen space for him. Maybe I'll add some like updates, some stuff in the house to be from the spa day park. So we'll get rid of this old sink and put the spa day sink in instead. This can be his things. So things he's brought are from the spa day park, of which Luke is a big fan, as you guys don't know, because I didn't until right now. <laughs> can they use the toilet if I put this here? I'm not sure. I'm sorry, love. I'm going to have to kick you out of there because I am going to put down. Oh my gosh, I could give them a sauna. Maybe I'll try and build an underground sauna if I save enough money. That would be really cool. Oh my gosh. And I can totally imagine him like putting little face masks and stuff on Robin. And she's just like not interested in doing it herself, but actually secretly loves them. But only if he does them for her. I can see it and it would be really cute. Oh, Robin's thinking about babies, by the way. Parents have a little sister once and she's like, yeah, I, I want this. I could do this. Okay, time to put like little these all over the place. I like how I've seen that it's his aspiration. I'm like, right, that is the now the design inspiration for the whole house. So I'm going to clear out this little area over here and turn it into like this whole Zen thing. Oh my gosh, it explains why he's into Mahina. Like not into Mahina, why he was friends with Mahina because she liked the hand massages and stuff, didn't she? I feel like he really just said to Robin, how much Zen stuff can I buy? And she just said yes. And then he just bought all of it. And all that has happened in the space one evening one evening guys and how have you acquired the creativity skill oh because you're reading no don't make a mess oh my gosh i feel like you've got you've got one creativity one social and you also have oh my gosh you're about to age up into a teenager and i just give you a child room okay we'll try and do that when you get back home from school you are a creative visionary and you're also squeamish creative visionary i think she's inherited from coral these are very tragic though we do not have much time to get those things uh in order but we'll try our best and likes comedy okay Oof. A lot to do there. This this could be stressful. I can't believe you're about to become a teenager. And I'm really liking like how bright the house is now. I like the changes. I think the changes look really good. And I'm going to get you to go ahead and meditate quickly before bed. And oh, I said vampire. I said, oh my gosh, I thought for a minute Luke was a vampire. I'm like, no, please don't tell me I've just married a vampire. Please don't do that. But look, oh, okay. We'll have to fix this look, won't we? Luckily, that was not the case. Because I don't feel like, you know, meditating with a little bubble gum is ideal. This is how he deals with the stress of moving in with his adorable but kind of lazy uh, partner and her about to be teenage daughter a little bit of meditation in the evening he finds his inner peace and he channels it okay so you are a senior detective you're we're actually at the same level no freaking way but you need to solve two cases now i'm not going to be focusing on his career as much as robin's honestly i need to get her to level 10 as part of my not so very challenge whereas i don't have to do that with luke but what i'm gonna see is if i take her to work will it take luke to work as well I don't know. It could be kind of interesting because then I can kind of work on the side a little bit. Oh, I can send them all cases together and they can be like joint detectives. Oh my gosh. They can be partners in, not in crime, not in crime. Partners in terms of the force and also partners in terms of the heart. Cute. I love her. I actually don't think you'd be allowed to do that if you're in the police, but it's the Sims and we totally can. You are up super early and you're feeling really upset about the loss in the family. So I'm gonna get you ready for school and also kind of play test this room. Okay, everything works perfect. And I'm thinking as well, she's going into her teenage years with the loss of both of her parents. I'm kind of feeling like if I get Luke's wellness up, he could like teach her like yoga routines and stuff to help her deal with the stress of her life. That could be a cute bonding moment for them both. So she's getting lots of like wellness love from Luke and then good cooking love and cheesecake from Robin. Though don't have cheesecake before school. You're gonna have to get up earlier, Robin. This is the opposite of what you want in life. But you're gonna have to if you wanna try and like provide a bit of parentage. Luke's up and is feeling very, very happy. I think he has the childish trait as well. So he's wanting to go up into her room and like play with her dolls. And okay, you need to go to school. Go for it, brush your teeth first. And then head into school. I also got her to give herself like a pep talk to try and help out as well. And I need to try and get these character values up as much as I can. Responsibility of which will be the easiest. Okay, she is heading into school now. Please get some homework at school because I couldn't make her do a homework. She left it at her brother's house. Why don't we go ahead and study? And um, we've got breakfast for tomorrow started at least. Luke, I feel like would be doing the morning walks because uh, Robin's lazy. She was never the best at walking speckles anyway. Speckles are independent, so I can just let her out. But this definitely makes things a little bit easier. Now, care to join them? Which one is it? It's Robin. Okay, if I join Robin, 
Will it drag Luke to work? Fingers crossed, because if it does, I feel like I've just big brained this whole thing so much and I actually can control my work partner slash life partner. Okay, and Luke is at work. Oh no. I can get him to work hard. What about if I teleport him here? What happens then? Do I just mess up his work day? Commands, teleport commands. Teleport world sim to this sim. And if I teleport Luke, have I just dragged him out of work? I can't tell. He's not in his work gear. Wait, where is he? Why are you not wearing your cool work outfit? Yeah, he's not wearing detective gear. I think I broke him. Okay. I'm just going to bring him everywhere with me. And you know what? I'm going to do a second outfit of him which is like a work outfit. But I won't do it now because I feel like it might mess up my work day and it'll bring me back to the house because he's not meant to be here. So let's just do our usual worky bits and bobs. I wonder if I can get him to interact with things. Oh, <gasps> I can totally get him to work. What happens if he... I've got to interrogate a suspect and go on patrol and take a police report from a civilian. Like if I get him to take the police report instead, does it count as helping my day out for work? Can I half my workload? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, it doesn't add to it. I don't think. No, it doesn't work, but I can still complete it because of UI cheats. So what I could do is like make them do everything together and oh, I'm going to half her workload. We'll be getting our promotion so fast now. And if I go on patrol, I want to take him on patrol too. So let's go on patrol because I got to do that today. Oh my God, look at us. Look how cute we are. Look, oh, look at our little merchant badges. Oh my gosh, I can't. You're immediately off to go and sit. I guess you can do the, do the stuff that you got to do then. Chat with civilians. Oh my gosh, I feel like yet again, Again, you found a way to completely work the system. Now you get to be even lazier and just sit around. Oh, oh no, a flaw in your plan. You're meant to be, oh, look at this guy having a little boogie. Oh, I know why you're dancing. You were in, how are you still alive? He was in Lila's like dance thing. What? Oh my gosh, wow, okay. Oh geez, a lot of people died here. A lot of people died here. A lot of different surnames. Okay, wow. I was going to say it'd be helpful for her because he will um, do all the work, but he is actually playing with his toys. So maybe not as big brain as he thought. It turns out you are going to have to do a little bit of work. Yeah, this is what happens when you get this many generations in. You get a lot of gravestones, even an alien gravestone, quite impressively. But this is good because I'm literally like just getting paid to covertly flirt with my real life boyfriend. And oh my gosh, he's introverted too. He also gets a little bit like, it feels everything's a bit intense. INTJ. ISTJ. Oh, you're only slightly different. One of you is N, one of you is S. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but that is cute. Oh, citation time, gang. Citation time. Let's get over here. Go, 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 go. Who did you even fight with? I don't know. You were fighting with yourself. Still straight to jail. Fight with somebody else. Jail. Fight with yourself. Jail. Fight with me. Jail. Fight with my husband, my cute boyfriend, sorry, not husband. Fight with my cute police boyfriend. You guessed it, also jail. Straight to jail. And it's time to return our butts to the police station. Now, every time I go anywhere, I have to teleport him, but it's totally worth it. And look, take mugshots at the booking station. You can do that one. It's been the same people in jail the whole time. By the way, I actually feel quite bad for them. Whereas I have to talk to the chief. The chief that now, I don't care. I don't care, chief, whether you like me or not. Although I do kind of want the promotions, but don't want to date you anymore, okay? I've got someone adorable who is way better. Although, why are you in jail? Luke, oh no, you're not, okay. It's okay. Oh, and this is the best bit of all. When I get the exercise for an hour, which I've been avoiding like the freaking plague since I got it, I can now totally get Luke to do it instead. Okay, this is good. Amy and Trey, still totally in love. I am actually gonna, if that's the case, they stay together for a while. I don't think the game will marry them necessarily. I think MCC does this randomly, unless I get a call from them. Hmm. With the new stories progression, I also don't feel like it's gonna work that way. So I am gonna add relationship. I'm going to make them husband so that the game like forces them to be together. Okay, spouse, Trey. Perfect. Wait, why are we still at work? We're meant to be heading home at six. Like poor little Lily's been by herself for ages and I was meant to do a birthday cake for this evening. Is it because I drugged Luke to work? <laughs> Can we never leave? Is this our life now? 
I don't know. It's stuck on one minute remaining. Okay, this is bad. Did I break the game? <gasps> okay, Robin did a fantastic job today. There may be a shinier badge in her future. Boom. Don't know about Luke since he just followed me around all day, but we'll go with him next time. And let's race inside and get a birthday cake on the go before she ages up. Oh, <gasps> no, she's going to do it without me. No, I'll still bake her a cake, but I don't think I can stop this. Or if I do, I think it will mess with things. I mean, I can try. No, I can't stop it. So she's off outside to go and age up into a teenager, which I am kind of looking excited about because I want to see um, what she looks like. So wait, where are you going? Wait, are you wandering off into the distance? Okay, there we go. Boom. Lily has aged up into a teenager and Mahina somehow sent her a gift. Okay, let's do a roll of three. One. Foodie. You know what? I think we stop right there because if you're a foodie in this household... You're going to be so freaking happy because you're going to be eating delicious food all the time. And you can watch cooking shows with Robin. Yes, I love that. Aspiration for you. It would be kind of cool if Robin's love of cooking ends up influencing her to become a chef. Ooh, I kind of like that. It's like, you know, Robin was never interested in being a chef because she wanted to always join the police force. But maybe it will encourage her little sister to do it instead. <gasps> Cute. Okay, and then oh. let's go into Cass and let's create. I, I like your hair. Let's go ahead and check out Lily. Okay, so here is how she looks. She's the same height as Robin, like exactly the same height. And I actually like the little clothes it's given her, but it's maybe a bit much for a teenager. Okay, I am gonna raise you up just so that I can edit your, your like eyebrows and hair and whatnot but i will shrink you back down again i kind of like the hair as well but obviously it's not um alpha so we will be changing that and at least now her eyes will stay the correct color i think wait what color eyes did you have i can't remember what she looks like i feel like she had darker eyes maybe she's so mahina though she's adorable what Okay, that's how she looks the CC. I've gone for her eyelashes are actually floating away from her a little bit. But I'm not going to go for like my usual lashes yet. I just want to go for something a bit softer because she's like still a kid. And I I'm trying to make her not look too old. You guys did. Oh, you linked me to a preteen mod to use. And it gives them more of like a teen appearance. But now that she's aged up, I don't think it'll work. I think I've messed it up. Hmm. We might have to use that for the next air instead. But basically, it gives them like a young teen appearance before they become teenagers and they're also shorter. I'll download it before the next time I play and we'll see if it impacts like her appearance at all. And then we'll also like definitely make sure that we've got it before like the next air with Robin and Luke. But I actually think, you know, my teens are like... Well, sorry, she's going to be shorter anyway, just because of the height slider mod that I've got and the fact that she's got Mahina's height. So I think I think her height's going to be fine. I'm also like aware that although she's in the country now, she initially grew up in LA. So I want to give her like a little bit more of like, um, I want the air of the next one to grow up and dress very country-esque because I think it makes sense based on where she's always grown up. But it doesn't make sense for Lily. So I've given her a school uniform because she's in the UK and she's a teenager. So I kind of figured she's probably going to wear a school uniform. Okay, there we go. So I've given her like blue school jumper and a blue school shirt. And really, I feel like it should have a tie, but it doesn't have a tie on the CC items, so it's fine. There is this version too. Actually, that's a bit trendier. I'm kind of already being like, okay, but for the air, what will the air wear versus Lily? These are all from Clumsy Alien. But I'm kind of feeling like maybe like we go for like a little cute bow moment for the air. So I'm going to keep Lily to these cute clothes, which I also really, really like as well. But maybe we start her off on this and then as she gets older, like... Then we do the bit with the little tiny bit of tummy showing, but I, I think she's a bit young now. And then I'm going to shrink her height back down to the same as... Wait, can I grab her height? Yeah. Back down to the same... Okay, a bit shorter still. There we go. The same as Robin's. And I think instantly she looks a lot younger just from doing that, right? Like she just looks younger. And I'm keeping the rest of her as is. I'm not putting any makeup on her yet because she's like just turned teen. She is a adorable though what she's so cute and then the final thing i'm gonna do just because i'm in cuss right now because i want to continue how freaking adorable these two are is i'm gonna if i've got it please i have it please i have it please i have it i want to give them matching pajamas because i just think it would be super cute if they had matching pajamas oh my gosh no where is it 
It's supposed to be here. I swear, I downloaded this as much in J's and yeah, I do not see them. Well, I'm gonna have to search for these pajamas again because I need them to have matching pajamas. I just think it's really cute and it is a thing that's just gotta happen. So I will be searching for that. But there we go, guys. We have Teenage Lily. Let me know what you guys think of her in the comments below. And I sort of feel like I need to get to it with the next day now. So that will be the plan for next episode. She's now feeling sad because she thinks we've forgotten her birthday. But we have not forgot your birthday, okay? We're literally cooking you a cake as we speak. So we'll get on cake vibes and also uh, birth... Uh, sorry, also baby vibes in the next episode. Now, I did want to just get them married at the romance festival. But I don't know when the Rex next romance festival festival is i will however keep a little eye out for that because i figured that would be a super easy fast way to get a um get married and it's very lazy which is very robin if you guys have any other suggestions or if we just get an annulment let me know in the comments below and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'll see you guys in another one bye